The worst thing that you can do is you just question from Jose, how many days per week do you recommend weightlifting? We swim three times per week. This is a great question and I love answering these types of, of comments from our community because they're so common. So let's say you swim three times per week and you wanna add in dry land or weightlifting. So it's really important to consider what your overall training regimen is like. So if you're not doing anything but swimming three times per week and you have the time to add in another full workout on the off days, so you know you have four other days in the week where you're not doing anything. If you have that flexibility, then you could weightlift or do dry land three times per week in addition to the swim three times per week. That's totally good. It's actually a great way to alternate, then you get some recovery. The water is active recovery, low impact on your body, and you can really develop. And that's actually what I do similarly throughout most of the year. Now let's say you swim five times per week or six times per week. You can still add three dry land workouts per week. Now you can either do that in addition to the swim workout, so you can do dry land before or after that individual swim session, or you can do doubles where you have a separate workout later Later in the day. If you have the time, I would recommend doing that. I would actually recommend splitting up your workouts. That way you can get a little bit more intensity and you don't feel broken down on the second one. So some people, they actually feel really tired and their muscles are basically fall apart depending on your training background if you swim and then do dry land. So the dry land might not be as good because you're not fresh. Similarly, if you do the dry land in the beginning and then you swim, you might actually feel really destroyed from the dry land and your swimming is not gonna be very good as well. So if you have the luxury and you can actually split those apart, I highly recommend that. Some people actually will change their swimming routine based on dry land or vice versa. But again, if you have the time, I definitely recommend splitting those apart. In terms of like what's too much, it really depends on your training background, what your goals are, and how much time you have to recover. So at the elite level, you can have swimmers training anywhere from three to four to five hours per day, mix of swimming and dry land over two or three different training sessions every single day. So you could have anywhere from 12 to 15 workouts in a given week and as long as there's time to recover and you have the training foundation to be able to do that then you, you can actually do that and that's what the elite level swimmers do so for most of you watching this video you're probably not training 20 to 30 hours per week instead you might only have a one hour session or a two hour session and so you want to be more aware of what your training background is and how much dry land you can handle so I recommend actually incorporating just a little bit of dry land or strength training to start and over time the worst thing that you can do is you just start training really hard you add in a ton of dry land and you absolutely shock your body and then you get injured. Instead, here's exactly what you should do. I highly recommend incorporating a little bit of dry land when you get started and gradually build that over time. And the way you do that is by following a structured training program. So if you follow the MySwim Pro app, we have dry land that automatically incorporates into the training plans, and those plans are specific to your goal. So whether it's training for a 1500 open water swim, improving your technique, improving endurance, and improving speed, we have a USRPT training program. And if you don't wanna follow a specific dry land training program with me in the app, and you wanna do strength training or use other equipment, we have all of those video resources available in the MySwim Pro app, in addition to all of our content on YouTube and everywhere else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Let me know what questions you have down below in the comments. I'm happy to do a video response on the most common types of questions. And if you're not already in our Facebook group, make sure you join it. It's the biggest digital swimming community in the entire world. And we have tons of swimmers in there. I'm in there, our My Swim Pro team is in there. So let us know what questions you have and what your goals are down below. And I wish you guys the best and happy swimming. Bye.